For those of us that shoot weddings, we go through so many batteries. We have tons of chargers. Usually we wait till a couple days before an event, before we have to charge. Never enough chargers. Our cables are everywhere and it can get crazy and stressful. And so we decided to simplify that process and create our very own custom charging bay for videographers. Let's check out what we are working with for the setup. We are working with this metal pegboard from Wall Control. Um, you can get it as a kit where it comes with all the accessories or it can be just the board. We ended up going with the whole kit because we wanted a lot of the accessories such as the bins that we could have all of our batteries that are needing to be charged, are charged. Um, we also have an outlet that we wanted to attach to it so that we can charge our rechargeable batteries. We also wanted to have the shelf so that we could be um, having the Ronin S set up on that and we could be charging it there. Also, we have all the chargers for our cameras that we're using. We have the GH5 charger. We have two sets of those, two sets of Sony battery chargers, and then one for Canon. We also have a strip for eight plugs so that we can charge in all of everything that we have here. Let's go ahead and start laying out how we want it to be placed before we put it on the wall. Now you can have it laid out however you like. Uh, we're gonna have all of our uh, camera chargers and light and monitor chargers here. We're gonna have uh, the bins down here. We're gonna have one of the shelves right here to hold the DJI Ronin S, and then also another shelf at the top that will also hold the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little Velcro strips and we're going to attach them to the back of the dual charger and then we're just gonna attach it to the board. And we're just gonna keep doing it for all of the chargers and then we'll start working on the cables. All right, now after we added the Velcro and we secured all of the dual chargers, we need to actually run the cables. Now, uh, the tough part is, is we can't fit this through the little slits next to it. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to bend out the metal just a little bit so that we can attach the power to the dual charger. All right, now that we've run all of the power cables to the chargers, we're also gonna do this one up here. Now this one has a bigger cable, so we need a thicker hole over here. So I'm gonna use an actual drill to be able to drill that section there. All right, so this was a lot more difficult than I thought. We ended up running the cable through it and uh, bent it a little bit back. And we actually have one of the accessory pieces that we will be placing right over it. So you wanna be able to kind of see it whenever we're done with that. All right, and the last thing we're gonna do before we mount it is we're going to attach this uh, surge protected power strip back here so that we can plug everything in and we're gonna do this uh, with Velcro. After we've installed all of the cables and the chargers to the pegboard, we're gonna go ahead and install it to the wall. So because we were running all of the cables behind the pegboard to this surge protector, um, power brick in the back. We have to have it set off from the wall. And uh, we picked up these wall standoff mounts and they are two inches in length, but the screws for them uh, won't allow us to screw from the front because we have to have something that we can fit through these little holes here. And I picked up these extra little um, screws from Home Depot. I believe they're metric in size, but it'll allow us to screw straight into the wall standoff mount. And we've already lined this up so that everything will We'll stay off from the wall so that we have space for the cables in the back, but we'll still keep it clean. All right, so once this is all set up, we're gonna go ahead and install our shelves. And we wanna have the Ronin S kind of uh, standing up right here. So we're gonna attach these brackets. We're gonna have uh, a cable coming out here that we're gonna charge the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro charger here. So we wanna make sure that the shelf is sitting underneath that. All right, so in the last accessory we're going to attach is the, um, the bins here. And this is gonna be able to hold all of our batteries. So let's uh, install this. All right, and we're gonna use this top shelf to install all of our charging bay for the Mavic 2 Pro. So we wanna have the controller being able to charge and we wanna have our batteries. Now the way I plan on doing that is uh, this charger right here, we're gonna go ahead and put Velcro on it and we're going to have it attached right here. Now, the reason why is we also have accessories that come with this kit version, and this is gonna hold the controller. So we can just place these right here, 
And then you can see that we just have this set up and we'll be able to plug it up with this charger, but it needs to be off of the shelf just a little bit. So we have some Velcro on the back and we're just gonna have it attached right here. And this will be our uh, charging section for the actual batteries. And we can place these up right here. And there you go. All right, and we can also install a cable for the charger and we'll also attach that to the power brick in the back. Um, and then you just, this sets in perfectly. We'll just kind of rotate this so that it fits. And then we can just plug up the cable and boom, we're charging, which is great. And it all set up. And then we can also go ahead and start putting our batteries on here as well. With the kit version that comes with the whole wall station here, you get uh, some extra little mounts that you can use to hold uh, step up rings. Uh, you can have hold up cables, whatever you want. So I left some extra space here and here in case I wanted to do that. And most of this is set up in the most efficient way possible. We have our uh, Panasonic chargers here and here. And then we also have an extra charger so that we don't have to connect to the back. We can easily plug in our rechargeable batteries. There's a, a section for three of them, which is really helpful if we want to charge phones or whatever else that needs USB power. We can have that there. It's close to the shelf, so we can set our phones here if we need to. Uh, on the top shelf, we have all of our drone charging station here. And what's really great is because we have this set to Velcro, we can just unplug the cable and actually take that with us so we weren't on the road. We can still charge our batteries. We just need to make sure we have a separate uh, power cable. And then at the bottom here, we have space for our DJI Ronin S fully stand up and we're able to charge it here. Um, and then we have our bins where we can have our extra batteries that are not charged yet. Once they're charged, we can move them into the next bin and then uh, continue charging the rest of our batteries. So we really like this setup. Now, it might not be best for you where you need both of these, uh, these boards. Maybe you can just do one pegboard and you can kind of fill up all this space on one. But I kind of wanted to show you our setup and what's gonna be really efficient for us as we move forward and we're expanding our team. We just want a quick way to go ahead and uh, have all of our batteries charged and ready for the weddings instead of waiting till two days before the wedding and then struggling trying to get everything charged. So there you are, our very own charging bay for videographers. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Our office space is coming together more and more and we'll be sharing more of that process with you soon. So in the meantime, please subscribe so that you don't miss another video. We're gonna be posting more weddings. We're gonna be posting more behind the scenes content and we're gonna be sharing a lot more videos that should be helpful for you wedding filmmakers out there. Um, we are White and Reverie. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh, oh.